Well, this first day of summer finds the Northeast U.S. is hot as a brick oven from the baked apple to bean town that is just broiling. Temperatures are sizzling in one of the hottest places is where you'll find Ebru's Kyle Schmoyer, who joins us live now from Philadelphia. He is one cool man with a very hot job. Well, good evening, Logan. Quite the hot day here in Philadelphia. Actually, all along the East Coast from Washington, D.C. up to Boston and many points well beyond. We went well into the 90s here today. Add in the humidity and you have a heat index or what it feels like on your skin, 100 degrees and above. Suffice to say, that is dangerous, especially for the very young and the elderly. But for all of us, this was a day to make sure you had this, water. With hot and humid weather gripping the East Coast the rest of the week, people need to be aware of the signs they may be suffering from a heat-related illness. You might start to heavy sweat very heavily, or your skin may get cool and clammy. That means your body's starting to sweat and you're on overload. Also, some people get like this fatigue or unexplained weakness. The key on days like this, lots and lots of water. So avoid energy drinks, avoid sugary drinks because that can dehydrate you. And of course, anybody avoid alcohol. Water is the best fluid to drink. Especially for those workers who must keep doing their outside jobs in the 90 to 100 degree heat. Water break every half hour. Also an ice or a cool mist break every hour. And you want to make sure you cool down your neck area, like a cool rag, also your legs, your upper legs in between your thighs, and your wrists. The reason being is you want to cool your body temperature. So far, people we found seem to be coping all right, but it is only day one of this extreme weather. It's okay. It's hot. It is hot. <laughs> but it's not as bad as it could be. I'm, I'm really more anxious about tomorrow. I'm supposed to be in the hundreds tomorrow. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. What do you do to try to stay cool? Uh, stay in air condition. <laughs> you got it at home, right? <laughs> yes. What yes. are you doing out here? Well, we want we want to work out. We trying to get healthy. Yes, some avid runners, bikers, and walkers still hit the pavement along Philadelphia's Kelly Drive, despite the temperature. But Dr. Rob Danoff says that's not the wisest move. It's been cool, and all of a sudden you get one hot day and two. People think they can do their normal routine, and we have these athletes. I'll see them in the hospital or in the ER. They say, "Oh, I'm in great shape." And they try to be a superhero, but they're a human, and they could be affected just as much, if not more so. Maybe these kids, and even some adults, have the right idea, seeking some relief at one of the city's fountains. Uh, it's scorching. <laughs> Very hot. How are you coping? Uh, pretty well. The water's kind of nice, so it's good to keep your feet kind of wet over here. <laughs> Take a dip in the fountain? Yeah. Now, if that's not an option for you, the doctor's best advice? Stay inside with air conditioning, but... If you don't have air conditioner, get a pail. Put in a bunch of ice. Connect your fan. Blow the fan over the ice. That will blow cool breezes. Take periodic showers throughout the day or a bath to cool you off. Also, dress light, dress bright, dress loose. Well, you know, the experts say the hottest time of the day is between 10 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you do have to go outside to do something around your home, or if you feel you do have to get out and exercise over these next few days, try to do it before 10 o'clock in the morning or after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Also, if there is a situation where you don't have air conditioning, then the best thing for you to do, especially during those peak times, head for somewhere that does. The mall, the library, the movies you're going to be most comfortable there. And Logan, I have to tell you, not to think that the heat affected me today, we are coming live to you in Philadelphia from Logan Square. I That's thought great. you'd appreciate that this <laughs> evening. As the kids are having fun behind me, I have to tell you, this is very inviting. I may jump in. We're live tonight in Philadelphia. I'm Kyle Schmoyer for Ebru News. All right. Careful if you dive there, Kyle. Thanks very much.